outsourcing. It is a fear promoted by the headlines. What does it mean to today's students hoping for good jobs in the future? And when did outsourcing start? And one gentleman put his hand up and said, I think that started about 8,000 years ago, didn't it? I said, very good. <laughs> Now what the headlines don't tell you is that while many jobs are going to other countries, new and different, good and stable jobs are being created here at home, especially in the world of managing the huge flow of information and technology that has become part of our everyday lives. It's called MIS, Management Information Systems. The thing they can't outsource is the knowledge of the business that you develop. So when you're going through the MIS program here, make sure you understand not the technology itself, but how does the technology support a production process or a service process? How does it all come together? That is going to be valuable. That is not going to change overnight. And that's what you guys should focus on. There's a whole bunch of different pieces that all need to be connected together. That's the, that's the technology that will never be outsourced. So back to the outsource question. How do all those different pieces fit together? That you have to be here for. You have to know how that all works. And making that all tie together, that's going to be the power and uh, of, of the kind of careers that you could possibly have. And this is the school to go to, to figure out how to get that. The question really becomes one of, how do we reposition our own educational process? Dr. Mohan Tanaru is the head of the MIS, Management Information Systems Department, at the U of A's Eller College of Management. He's also the director of ASSIST, the Arizona Center for Information, Science, and Technology. He says educators must get students to rethink and retool and do it early. So one of our goals then is not only educate them once they come in into the type of jobs that they will be successful at, but we also need to go to high schools and elementary schools and middle schools to change the perception that often press and other media presents as if that all the jobs are going away. And I accept the fact that there are opportunities here and there are different type of opportunities maybe than a decade ago. And so the mission of ASSIST, along with MIS and other IT information technology communities across the campus, was launched. <gasps> I like this cow. I like this cow. This is a cool cow. Watch out, these little ladies today are tomorrow's women in the workforce. Through the work of the U of A's MIS department's early outreach program, one of the many efforts is to target girls and technology. They are known simply as tech divas. We're trying to get beyond the stigma that the technology careers aren't for women and really encourage girls to enjoy technology and feel confident in their technology skills so that they can go out and seek these careers and these positions. On a recent field trip to the U of A's greenhouse, the girls learned how technology is helping farmers grow more efficiently. Did you ever think there would be computers in here? Not really, because plants out in the wild don't usually have computers to help them grow so and I'm most I never been in a greenhouse before so it's cool to know that they do that. Technology's everywhere isn't it? Uh-huh. And the MIS department's early outreach continues through the high school level. These Howenstein students in the Tucson Unified School District are getting to know their way around the tech center at the U of A's College of Management. Uh, so many times we talk about instruction within the uh, confines of the, the brick and mortar at the school, but this was an opportunity to get those students outside of the classroom and onto the college campus in an actual project, not just coming over to hear someone talk, but they actually collaborated and did a hands-on project and simulated what happens in business and industry. So for us, that's major. So yes, I'd say it was a success. The world is a lot flatter, to use a term. You, the old days, you had to design it and build it in the same place. Today you can design anywhere and build anywhere. And the computer has enabled us to do this. Who's going to manage these things? Who's going to be at the leading edge of the future? That's your world. And so from tech divas, to high school students, to alumni, and to the business community, 
the MIS program in partnership with other units across the U of A is hoping to cast a wide net around as many students as possible and to do it as early as possible. It's a relationship that higher education can have with our principals and teachers in K-12 to try to make this work. High tech is the wave of the future for our community and that the U of A is connecting more closely to our community on that level is good not only for business but for economic development and for our community health overall. So higher education hand in hand with our educators across, across Arizona can begin to make this work. It's all about planning for the future today.